who Jackalope's hounding him, and they come away with the puck. Heinz trying to get right wing, and Martin stands him up, but there's a cross ice pass, and Feeney somehow makes the save. I can't believe that, Dustin. I cannot believe how he's kept that out of the net. That's quite fantastic stuff there from Harrison Feeney. Really saved his team there because it looked for certain that Jackalopes were about to open up the scoring there. Three players fishing for rubber in the corner. We'll see who comes free with it. It's Odessa centering feet. Another save by Feeney. Second scoring chance for Odessa. Not only eight minutes into this one, and Feeney stops another shot into his breadbasket. Almost turned over Trezera. Working to create that turnover, and now Lone Star has it. Sampson's in by himself, drops to Steno. Steno with the shot, he scores! Michael Steno puts the bottles up one to nothing. And even though Steno got the goal and he's open there, and you can see the pucks fly onto the ice here from the crowd, I have to give massive credit to Jack Sampson with the assist. The way he was able to win it back to his team and then with his back towards goal, he was able to turn on himself and get the puck to Stinnell. He could put it away. Brilliant finish, may I say, from Stinnell. But... Well, and I'm going to put a little star here because he's not getting the secondary assist, but Frankie Trezera got that started with the defensive work, would not let Odessa exit the zone cleanly. That defensive pairing having a good afternoon so far, or evening, excuse me. There's Guerra skating to get the puck. Center ice, center slot, skates in with the puck, looking back behind him is Hapward, and just getting the whistle before that puck crossed, crossed the goal line was the Jackalope's netminder. Matt Guerra doing literally absolutely everything apart from score there. That was a fantastic run from inside his own half and gliding across the ice, a real surging run through the Jackalopes, left, right, got past almost the whole team and just the goaltender to beat, unfortunately couldn't finish it, but really showing his potential and how dangerous a player he is. He's absolutely amazing. He's a joy to watch. And you see why he gets that second star and why eventually he is. Evano drops the hammer and scores! Person set him up there. Got the faceoff win and Evano knocks it down as again Hapward is beat. Stick side. I don't know which goal was better, Dustin. We were talking about the ferocity of the first one, but Blake Evano there. Brilliant slap shot. Once again, Hapard couldn't do anything about that. Stinnell switched over. That's interesting to see, Dustin. He played the whole first period down the left and was a real nuisance for the Jackalope defenders. He's been on the right. He switches to the left. As there's a shot. Rebound. Go scores! It's 3-0 Lone Star. And it looks like it's that man again. Matty Guerra's first goal of the evening. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dustin. Nope, that's his first, the second power play goal for Lone Star. Guerra, boy, he just keeps at it. He just, he, he gets, if you could give three assists on the play, he would have one on the faceoff win on the first power play goal for Lone Star. And you can't keep that man quiet. Absolutely not, he's... Again, leading the Brahmas in goal scored on the year. That's his sixth of the season now, and we spoke earlier of how well he's been playing this game, and he, he had pretty much done everything but score. Now he has got a goal to his name, and I'm sure he'll be wanting more. Pass to the circle, back to Fedoric. Fedoric shoots, and that one deflects up over the crossbar. Fedoric had Feeney beat, and then Feeney gloves that puck out of the air off the stick of Benerva. He's looking for Bedardson, bounces away from him. Pierce will try and fire it back, but there to knock it down to the ice is Austin Grazinia. Grazinia thinks about skating it towards the slot. Now we'll turn and fire. It's in front. Puck is free, and it's skated away as Hapward didn't quite have enough to cover it up to Guerra. Lots of space for the players here to try and work something into the Jackalope's net. There's the hammer drop from Evano looking for his second. Garrett back to Evano. We're four on four. 
Coming out of the box is Mo. Can he get there in time to impact the play? He's looking for the puck as it was chipped forward by Christie. Still a stick out here on the ice. It's lost its owner. And but Artson will maneuver around it. He centers it for Swade. Swade passes. What a save by Hapward. Don't know if Grazin had got to that puck, but Hapsford absolutely deflected it and back the other way, we were ridden into the boards. For Skarstrom to Crossman. Over to Skarstrom from the circle. That pass to Skarstrom. France with the shot and the score. It's 3-1. We were just talking about that, Dustin. We were just talking about the Bombers trying to keep Odessa out and Decent play, decent play from Odessa, but you feel like they could have done something there, the home side. And you're just back on your heels there, and I don't want to be Matt Guerra as he heads back to the bench. And there you go. Boy, these two teams battling on the ice. And they simply peel away from each other, and... They will go over to Feeney. I think that speaks volumes. Absolutely. 